Hello everyone, the time has come for me to share with you uh, another weekly trading plan. Again, we are going to uh, start this plan by checking the weekly time frame, then going down to the daily time frame and we'll finish on the H4 time frame. Uh, the idea of the plan is to fulfill itself by the end of this week and uh, live signups will be posted based on this plan on our Twitter profile, so follow us there. Uh, one more thing I want to say before we start, uh, the plan will be posted on TradingView and in the description below uh, you will find information about the zones and uh, target levels in numbers as well as an economic overview for this week, so remember to check that one as well. Uh, enough said, let's start with the plan. What you current, currently see on your screens is the weekly time frame of the GBP odd currency pair. Uh, first thing we notice here is that currently uh, the pair has reached uh, this weekly resistance area over here from where it dropped heavily throughout the last few weeks. Uh, this weekly resistance area is formed by uh, this bottom over here you can see so this area was actually a support at first then it was broken with a very strong move here and we saw uh, the pair go up a little bit after this uh, huge drop down and reach to this area once again so from here uh, it already dropped and I expect it to continue dropping as I believe this can be a new down wave starting from here. Uh, if we turn on the indicators you can see the 200 MA uh, on the weekly time frame. It confirms the downtrend and it was touched right here where a new wave started. Uh, the Ichimoku indicator Although it indicates an uptrend at that point, I do believe that uh, this uh, cloud will be broken soon enough and we'll see a nice swing down. But this is a little bit more long term. So let's go to the daily time frame and see what it has in store for us. First of all, what we notice here is this area we can see how the pair went to it here, here and bounced. Uh, this can be considered as a weekly resistance which here was broken uh, by this strong uh, uptrend wave which reached to the weekly resistance area and as you can see we had uh, square formation formed here inside of the weekly resistance on daily which was broken and a new wave down started so uh, for me this is a confirmation that the whole uptrend wave we had from let's say over here is finished and a new downtrend wave has started as you can see, uh, the area, this area also uh, worked out as a support over here before being broken. The price reached down to this uh, daily support area, which is also a previous bottom of uh, this move here. And from there, it jumped up and currently the price is just below uh, this sort of a daily resistance area. Now from here I would expect a drop down in the price back to this daily support or uh, we might see an even further drop from here to down here somewhere. But at this point uh, this daily support area, previous bottom, will be our first target, uh, which we'll try to uh, take some profits on. 
Turning on some indicators here, uh, DMA indicates an uptrend, although I believe that this level will hold. Uh, and the Ichimoku is, indicates a downtrend on the daily time frame and actually the Ichimoku cloud is just inside of this uh, daily resistance area as you can see so this would be a double sign off for a down wave from here uh, enough on the daily time frame of course there is another chance for this level to be broken and the price to reach back to the weekly resistance area from where I would expect a drop down uh, let's check out the H4 time frame and how things are going at that point now what we can see here I'll just remove those so we can draw new ones what we can see here is let's try and uh, check all the waves this uptrend wave on the daily time frame stored in the H4 time frame so we had a down wave, an uptrend wave, a downtrend wave. I won't consider this one as a downtrend wave as it was a very short one and then the pair continued. So this for me is the next one. Here a downtrend wave and an uptrend wave. So what we notice here is that we can use this top as a confirmation sign off for the new downtrend wave. Uh, what I mean by that is, as you can see, uh, the price already reacted from it. So it's a level obviously that traders watch, but the price already reacted over here from this uh, daily uh, resistance area. So my expectations here are for a break of this uh, area, actually this level, which is, as I said, uh, the last top the price made. And after the break here, we can see a downtrend wave down to here. Of course, it won't be like that. Uh, probably we'll have a few stops before that. And uh, the first that I believe a little bit stronger would be here so for those of you who wish to play it safe if you enter on a break here on a lower time frame like the M30 you can take in some of the profits here on this area uh, that would be all for this week I hope you enjoyed my trading plan I'll post it on trading view as I said in the beginning of the video check it out there check out the description and remember to follow us on Twitter because I'll post live signals based on this plan, uh, especially on the lower time frames like H1 or M30. Thank you very much and I wish you a profitable week.